Hi everyone, welcome to another Doug's Live video. I recently had a friend ask me why I'd never built a welder out of microwave oven transformers since I had so many, and I couldn't really think of a good reason, so I decided to cobble one together this afternoon. Uh, anyway, I took apart another microwave, and it turns out the transformer, which is up here, was uh, too small. As you can see, it's not very big, so uh, too small for making a welder with. Well, I suppose you could do something with it, but I decided to use my two biggest transformers. So I took apart my high current power supply, as seen in one of my previous videos, as well as the high voltage transformer, as also seen in one of my previous videos, I think. Uh, anyway, I chiseled the secondary off, just like I chiseled the secondary off this one the first time, and I rewound both. And uh, both of them have been rewound with stranded 14 gauge copper wire, and this one has 20 turns. Uh, it's been doubled up for current handling capabilities. So right here there are actually two coils on each transformer. This one has 20 turns, this one has 15 turns, and it's just because the transformers are, have different amount of primary turns. And uh, they both output 15 volts, as close to 15 volts as I could get per turn increment though. So, But for all intents and purposes they uh, output 15 volts each. And uh, they're wired in series right now. The uh, primaries are in parallel. I got two separate plugs, but that's going to change once I build an enclosure for this. And uh, these two transformers, the two coils on this core are in parallel, as are these, and then the two transformers themselves are in series and in phase. Um, that's one common mistake I think that a lot of people would make, is that uh, when I first put this together, I had, um, because it was around in the same direction, I had the wind, this, this cable connected to the one over here, and uh, unfortunately that put them 180 degrees out of phase, so they sort of canceled each other out, and I got no voltage across the, uh, the electrodes, so... Uh, anyway, yeah, learned that one really fast. But, uh, yeah, these are pretty cool. Um, the reason I wound them uh, this way is not because, well, it's because I didn't have enough wire. Uh, or I had some very, very thick wire, but I couldn't get enough turns to make a usable welder. So I ended up using for the 14 gauge that I had since I had a ton of it. But this uh, affords me some interesting opportunities in that uh, if this is coil 1 and 2 and this is coil 3 and 4, I can take 1, 2, 3, and 4 and put them all in parallel for 15 volts at a very high current. I can have them like they are now where these two are in parallel, these two are in parallel, and then all then these two transformers are in series for 30 volts at a moderate current, which is what it's set it for right now. And uh, I could also just wire all of the coils in series for 60 volts at an even lower current, but uh, for whatever I might need to use for that. And so I'm thinking of building an enclosure with switches that enable me to switch them around like that. Uh, that way I can use the 15 volts of all these in parallel as for spot welding and then the 30 volts for these parallel series the parallel series network for welding like I do right now. Anyway, um, yeah it is a welder, it does work. I have a 332nd electrode uh, right here. This clamp on the other end of the jumper cables and you can see the jumper cables are just connected to the leads of the transformers. Um, 332nd, 6013 and it's pretty standard for just AC stick welding general purpose. And I got a steel pipe right here. I'll show you a demonstration. Put the electrode on there. And make sure that uh, the slag is kind of knocked off the end of this because otherwise it's a pain to start the arc. There we go. Alright. Transformers are all in place. So yeah, I'd highly encourage you to make one of these because uh, they're pretty cool. I've got my little uh, foot shield for hot metal sparks, seeing uh, I'm not wearing any foot covering right now. In fact, I don't really have any protection on me whatsoever, which is not good, but I'm just not going to look at it. You'll see it, but uh, I won't. Anyway, so here we go. Got the electrode, transformers are on, powered up, 30 volts AC, high current. Oops. It's very hard to lay a bead when you can't see what you're doing. Anyway, you can see it definitely does work as a welder. I'm not going to weld too much because it's getting really smoky in here. And I definitely used some of the rod. And I definitely burned a little holes in the carpet. <laughs> My dad is going to be angry with me about that one. But uh, anyway, so yeah, that's my uh, proof of concept microwave oven welder. And I'm just going to build a little enclosure slash power supply out of it. And uh, 
yeah, hopefully I can make some uh, decent projects with this, like maybe some crucible tongs, pouring shank, that's that kind of thing for my foundry. Maybe get around to turning that big water heater tank into a furnace. Well, the cart for it and everything. Well, this has been another Doug's Lab video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or you can email me or something. Uh, I'm always open to questions and I'll try and answer as many of them as possible. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, rate, and comment.